All right. So here we go. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with one of uh, the tools that I have been using longest in virtual facilitation, and that is AHA Slides. So if you're familiar with Poll Everywhere or Mentimeter, um, then you are familiar with the concept of live polling. And the idea with live polling is basically you're gonna put something up and people are going to answer it instantaneously and then you'll be able to see their responses in live time. This is a really handy tool for in-person facilitation as well, especially if you're working with large groups um, because you can get everybody's responses kind of like in the aggregate on, uh, on the live polling. So I'm gonna show you the tool that I like for live polling, which is AHA Slides, and uh, I'll show you a couple of different things that I like about it. So let's do that. Let's jump over there. Okay, ka-chow. So this is, so let's, let's just show you what you will come to. So when you open up AHA Slides, um, this is what you'll see. And uh, if you don't have an account, you'll see that getting started button. Um, because I have an account, it'll jump me over to the presentations. And as you can see, I have done quite a few of these over the, these are all different sessions that I've run. And uh, let's start with a blank one. And I can just kind of show you what it will look like when you do this for the first time. So, okay. So, um, all right. So we've got a couple of different options. So AHA Slides is something that you can use for live polling and you can also use it for quizzes and games. I have not done as much of that. So I won't be speaking to that very much uh, at this moment, um, but we can kind of instead get into this idea of opinion and Q and A. So I will often use AHA slides when I am, when I'm facilitating for a large group, I will use AHA slides so I can get everybody's kind of voice into the room without actually having to get everybody speaking. Um, so I can ask them, you know, on a scale of one to five, how tired are you at the moment? Or how long have you spent on Zoom? Or uh, what's one word that you are, I don't do a lot of one word check-ins. Let me, let me think of another one. Um, how would you describe what we're going to be talking about in five words or less, right? Those type of kind of open-ended questions on AHA slides, it's really easy to get people's ideas, display them to folks, and uh, and then be able to kind of like get their voices in the room. So uh, let's let's see what that looks like. So um, I often do a word cloud to start with, and this might be something like, um, where are you calling in from? This is, I tend to do something that um, no one will have to think much about and just get an initial response from people as kind of the question that orients people to the program, right? Um, rather than have them like start thinking when they get there, but just get them to respond right away uh, when they get there. Um, there's a bunch of different toggles and things that you can change, um, but that's how fast it is in AHA slides to set up a question. So you just saw me set that up um, and we've got one entry par participant. And so this is what it will look like on their end. Um, where are you calling in from? I'm calling in from Barry, Vermont. Ooh, no comma. Okay. Submit. And that's what will happen. And so uh, as they come in, uh, you can see them live or you can hide the results until you want to show them. We are obviously in facilitator mode right now. Um, what it will look like when you're in pre presenter mode is you'll just see the slide and, and none of that other information. So I often start off with uh, a word cloud of some sort or an open-ended question or a poll. Um, so let's see some other types that I use a lot. So poll, um, I will often ask like, um, how long um, have you been on Zoom today? <laughs> Zero to one hour. I'm just, these are like already filled in there because I have asked this a lot of times, uh, which is cool that it remembers that. And boom. So now we've got our poll. And again, this is what it would look like to participants when you're kind of screen sharing or displaying this. And, uh, and this is what it would look like for them to respond. So I've been on Zoom for three to five hours a day. Jam. And the response is instantaneous. So that's really cool. I like hiding my results um, initially when people are doing it um, so that people aren't kind of swayed or, and don't see everybody's. And then there's a little bit more of a reveal. Um, and you can do that when you're in presenter mode just by hitting that button. So that's really neat. So that's word cloud, that's polls. 
Um, let's see what other ones that I often use open ended. So I'll sometimes ask people like, how, how would you describe something or how would you define something? So how would you describe facilitation? And you can add some like additional context, like five words or less. Um, and this is what it will look like on their side. So my favorite thing about aha slides is, um, is just the speed at which you can make it. So you don't have to like, it doesn't take a ton of time to set up. Um, but also I can do this like in the middle of a session. So that's one of the reasons I use aha slides over zoom polls because zoom has a couple of different options. Um, when you're in zoom, you can set up a poll that kind of has this same, um, what type of question is this? This kind of like, you know, pick out of these choices thing. You can totally do that in Zoom, but I just find it kind of clunky. Um, and, uh, oh, hey, Jason. Um, I find it kind of clunky and uh, it really wants you to set up those polls ahead of time. And while I do that, I find it a lot faster to use, uh, to use AHA slides to set that up. So it looks a lot like Mentimeter, which is great. Is there any distinct advantages of AHA over Mentimeter? Yeah, so, um, I would say yes and no. So one of the things that I struggle with um, when it comes to like virtual facilitation in general is that you kind of have to like pick a thing and then stick to it. Um, or at least that's been my kind of like, um, that's been what I've done is I've picked one and I've stuck to it. AHA slides and Mentimeter are super, super um, similar. Like they have a lot of the same question types. They have a lot of the same features. The reason I picked AHA over Mentimeter like initially was because AHA has a better free tier. So with AHA, you can set up as many questions as you like. And as long as you have less than seven participants, um, at least this was what was true when I started with it, we can go check it out in the pricing. Um, right now, um, then you can do as much as you want to kind of get to know the platform and get to practice with it. With Mentimeter, you could only set up two questions before it was kind of like, hey, you have to purchase me now. And so for me, I really wanted the ability to like test out all of these different things and to like play around with it uh, before committing to buying something. Um, so that was the reason I chose AHA over Mentimeter. I also find it just a little bit faster, um, but that was really the big thing for me. Um, so yeah, that's still true. AHA has this like up to seven live participants. It is free forever, unlimited questions, unlimited quiz. So that's just really nice in order to like get to know it. Um, uh, and I think Mentimeter, Let's go look. Menti, menti, me. Oh my gosh, I cannot spell it. Menti meter. There it goes. Uh, let's look at Mentimeter's pricing. So free two question slides. So that was it. That was the thing for me. As I was just like, I can't, I can't explore and play around with this um, enough before I hit that paywall. And so um, that's what got me on Aha uh -huh slides. I do think the pricing is a little bit lower too. Like you can start paying for 50 live participants at five bucks a month and Mentimeter starts at 12. So that's just something to think about. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very similar. Um, and I would say if you like, if you like Menti, like great, I, I don't know if there's a good enough reason to switch between them. Um, but I wanted to make sure to like share aha slides in case people had never heard of it before or haven't ever explored any of the live polling software, because I do think it's really powerful. Um, and there has been like multiple sessions where that I've run where I'm actually building polls live while people are talking, um, that I, I would never do that with a Zoom poll because it like makes me open another screen and it it, it just kind of disorients me. Um, so that's a that's one of the reasons I really love um, I really love Aha slides. There's also a cool um, so they have a really great Q and A slide um, feature which is neat. So with Q and A you can set it up so that like you have this Ask Me Anything uh, like. Um, slide, right? So this is what it will look like when you present it. Um, and on the participants view, um, they can just ask any question they want. It can be anonymous or not. Um, but my other favorite thing about this is that they can vote 
on um, other people's so they can upvote like, oh, I, I like this question too. And so if you have a group of like 50 people, um, you don't even have to ask a question in order to like say, please answer that one. And so I really, really like that option for Q and A's. Um, and uh, there's this neat feature where you can make it possible for people to ask you questions on any slide. Uh, so that's pretty neat as well. Um, and I, I tend to use just the Q and A feature um, all by itself. And, uh, and then there's ways for you to like moderate the questions. So like, let's say you have a group of like 300 people, um, then you can, you know, have somebody acting as the moderator letting questions through, which is really neat. Um, so let me, let me hop back to one of the like sessions where maybe I'll have questions in it. I'm now trying to think of which one would, um, let's see, maybe, maybe this one will have questions. Let's find out. Okay. Please reload. Let's see. Okay. Well, we've got, Oh, here we go. Yes. Cool. So here's uh, this is a session that I did with like, I think 600 people with 600 students. And so this question has 32 upvotes, which is pretty neat. Um, and uh, like, um, <laughs> like they can, you, I can pin them too. So I can say, okay, let me answer this question first. Uh, and then I can unpin it. And then you can also mark it as answered, uh, which is neat. So like, okay, cool. I've talked about this question. I'm going to go ahead and mark it as answered. And now it drops down to this like answered bucket. Um, so just as a facilitator, that is just a lot of control and organization that they make really, really easy. Um, so I really like that feature in the Q and a, um, I do think that Q and A like this is really powerful. Um, again, with those large groups, and uh, just while we're here, I can also show you what uh, what kind of open ended questions look like on the on the um, in the response. So, like this is this has. 364 open-ended answers and it just collects them, you know, and you can just kind of scroll through them. You can read them out if you want to or not. Um, I was using this mostly just to like understand how the session landed for my participants. Um, but yeah, it's really neat that you can also click on them and they kind of pop up bigger. Um, so that can be just like handy ways to um, understand different pieces of information. Um, Jason, if you have other questions on AHA slides, or um, on a different technology, like if you want to guide us in a new direction, feel free to do that as well. So we looked at polls, we looked at open-ended questions, and I think the last thing I'll say about AHA slides while we're here is that you can actually build your whole presentation in it, um, which is something that I sometimes do if I have regular slides. So like this, this is just an image slide that I imported um, and and, uh, and I can flow that in between, um, I can flow that in between like the polls. So if you're like, I have slides like questions or, you know, data I want to present to people, then you can actually do that in between the polls, um, which I, which I think is really neat. Um, so that is handy and uh, that's a way you can kind of import Google slides directly, or you can actually just design a slide um, straight in straight in AHA slides. So like, uh, let's see this one. This is a slide that I actually made right within the software itself. Um, so again, that's just like a really uh, flexible and fast way to do it. Uh, as somebody who, as somebody who sometimes doesn't, uh, like give myself enough time to prepare having software that allows me to be like really responsive and flexible, um, and be quick on my feet when I'm working with it. Um, that is something I really value. So uh, the infomercial for aha slides has ended now. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a neat thing. Um, I've used it a lot and, uh, and I think that, um, it fits the bill for, for polling and for making sessions that could just be single direction, like you talking to them, making it a little bit more interactive. Um, I think that's a really neat thing that you can make it do. <sighs> okay. Uh, all right, so if there aren't any other questions about live polling, then we're gonna hop over to another software uh, and uh, we're gonna hop over to Mural. So much like the world of live polling, there is a ton of options when it comes to essentially like 
collaborative whiteboard tools. So if you are a facilitator and you think, well, I use, um, I use whiteboards, flip charts, sticky notes. I do those when I'm in person. These are essentially the like mural and similar tools like it will be software that would replace that, um, that would replace those kind of like in-person tools. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to hop over to mural and kind of show you around there. Um, let's see. Uh, I was just going to take a moment to just hop over to Instagram and let people know that this is what we're doing. So let me do that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say, give a shout out to Claire and ask Claire, Hey Claire, post a story saying we're about to get into mural on the Instagram, uh, stories, and then maybe link people to this and we'll see if anybody will join us. <laughs> 